The Nature Boy, Buddy Landell and Ollie Ben Khan coming up in the ring in just one moment. Here he comes, Buddy Landell. Before he gets to the ring with Ollie Ben Khan, we want to have a second to talk. Looks like there's just a lot of trouble whenever you get Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert around. You know, I was at the Coliseum last week, and I saw the thing with Jerry Lawler, Brian Christopher, Tommy Rich, and Doug Gilbert. You know, it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty awesome thing. But I've got a pretty awesome thing going on with Tommy Rich right now myself. And I hate to disappoint Jerry Lawler and Brian Christopher, but let me tell you something, Tommy Rich. If you get through me to get through that match, I could run in and save you just to have you all for myself. You know, Lance, I'm coming out here for the last couple of weeks trying to be something that I'm not. You know, Tommy was sitting here knocking me. I'm the one with a, suit, with a closet full of $1,500 suits, and I'm the one driving around here in a Mercedes Benz. That's the Nature Boy Buddy Landell. I'm not riding up down the road in a broke down Bronco like Doug Gilbert and Tommy Rich. Tommy Rich is a 40-year-old man. He's seen his best day, but mine has yet to come. You know, I see Sid Vicious come out here, and Sid Vicious is ruling the world. Sid... In the back. Okay, let's go back. Pardon me, buddy. We got Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert causing trouble back there. No, that's all right. Just stay right... Huh? They, and we're going to go back and look. There they are. There they are. Out there in the back. Rich. There comes Eddie Marlin. Now he was told... Like, you, okay, Davey's going to go in the back and see if he can... If he can get us a report on it. Eddie Marlin saying, keep him out of here. Ah, here comes Buddy Landell. Spotting back. Hey, Lance, I can't yeah. hear you. Excuse me for interrupting. I, was, I got a mic. I'm gonna... Come here a minute, Eddie. Eddie, I'm not concerned with them right now. I want to tell you something. Well, hurry up. I'm busy. You know, I have never asked you for anything. I've never given you a reason to do me a favor. But I've been screwed out of matches for the last couple of weeks. Doug Gilbert coming and running in and causing me to lose. Please, I'm begging you, Eddie Marlin, do me a favor and let me wrestle Tommy Rich on TV today and keep Doug Gilbert outside. Do me the favor. Buddy, I told you I was busy. You don't understand. I told you if all everybody to get into the TV program, they were suspended. They're not allowed in the TV, and I've got to get them out of here. Eddie, listen, you're a compassionate, you're an understanding man. I'm talking about my career here. I'm talking about my career. They say that I ain't got one, and I want to prove that I do have one. And you're the man that can do it. You can do me a favor. You can do me a favor and let me wrestle Tommy Rich today and keep that goof, that bald-headed geek outside. You can do me a favor if you want to, Eddie. In your heart, you can do it. I don't know, Eddie. It's, they're suspended out here. I, I, but it, it'd be a great match for television, looking at it that way. Well, let's do it. They, they've been wanting me in all day, so let's let them in. Let what I'm in. All right, well, you're just going to let Rich in? Outside and let the stooge with the black eye in. Come on, Tommy. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, sweetheart. All right, suspended. I ain't gonna wrestle. All right, Gilbert is back outside. He's locked out. Uh, security is there to keep him out. Change your heart. Your suspension has been lifted. Do what? My suspension's been lifted. Get in the ring, he said. No, listen, Tommy, go in here and prove what kind of a big man you are. How you can be there. Yeah, your shadow's outside. Eddie, 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 God bless you. All right, looks like we got a match, Lance. Back to you. They're coming in. Okay, Dave. Tommy Wildfire Rich. Oh, what's the matter? Are you afraid one-on-one? -on -one? You gotta have Doug Gilbert. Oh no, he lifted that so you can come in yeah, here. He no, Gilbert in. On. no, that's right. Huh. It won't be two-on-one. It'll be Tommy Rich, Buddy Gilbert. That's it. No, Doug Gilbert. Tommy Rich. If you're not afraid of him, climb up in the ring. Bad enough, you got Scott Bowden around here with him. Okay. We're going to take a break then, and before this match gets put together... Oh, Corey. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. Corey, no break. No break. Let's go to Corey. All right, Lance, we're ready for it. One ball, ten minutes. 
238 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia, Wildfire Tommy Rich. His opponent, 233 pounds from Jacksonville, Florida, the nature boy, Buddy Landell. One ball, 10 minutes, Kevin Christian, referee. Lance, we're ready for action. Well, there, there it is. Thank you, Corey, your former partner. Hey, we don't want, hey, we don't want to be unsportsmanlike. like Tommy Rich is suspended. That's the rules. I mean, we don't want to break any rules. Oh, I know. Okay, ring the bell. You better believe it. The bell sounds, Tommy. You want to be counted out without even being a man enough to get up in the ring? There goes Rich climbing through the ropes. Landell, I didn't expect him to wait. Never said he was any angel. He's just a tough son of a gun who will break a rule if it benefits him. And he is going after that Rich. Remembering that these guys were partners together, raised a lot of havoc among anybody they climbed in with, did anything they wanted, and Dave... I think it suits them both to be in there one-on-one. -on -one. I agree with you, and I'm glad Eddie Marlin made the decision. It's a decision where Eddie had to make it very quickly, and he's thinking, all right, do I unsuspend him? What should I do here? But a Buddy said, hey, put him in the ring, give him to me, and then all of a sudden Tommy says, wait a minute, I'm suspended. I can't do that. I'm suspended. He changed his mind about that suspension. Scoop him up. Slam him down. Buddy Landell drops with the elbow. I think Eddie made the right decision. I'm just glad to see him going at it here. As Rich, who uh, is still bearing the uh, signs of that brawl that we told you about earlier, that they had not only in the ring but in the locker room with Brian Christopher. His eye was his eye was almost closed the last time I saw him. And it was busted up pretty bad. Look at Buddy Landell. He's going to reopen it. Yep. Pounding away on it. This is not right. My Uncle Bobby Bowles told me when a player gets suspended, you tell you in here to the suspension. You don't break the suspension. Put a cork in it, Scott. Get out of here, will you? And Buddy Landell, foot to the midsection, has Rich down, and he wants, got him exactly where he wants him, Davey. He does indeed. Buddy Landell with the upper hand so far, but maybe not. Oh, he blocked him. Rich coming at him with a right hand, and Landell blocked it, picks him up. Now drops him down to the Hold mat. Up. Look at this. Figure four leg lock, Buddy Landell. Learned it from Ric Flair, and he has applied it. Now he, he pulls a belt out and wraps it around. Oh, man. A devastating hole. Look at that. There's no way to get it broken. Landell got that belt and got it cinched tight. He straps the legs. He straps the legs together. Uh-oh, Landell. Uh Nails referee Kevin Christian. Look, look, Scott Bowden has just let Doug Gilbert in the back door. Look at that. Bowden letting Gilbert loose, you might know it. Brings him in and look at that pole that Gilbert's carrying in there. Wailing away on the midsection of Buddy Landell. And the belt finally busts loose. Landell outside the ring. And Gilbert flailing away with that pole. Well, Tommy, one more time. You had to have somebody come save the bacon. Yeah, sure, you're the winner. No way. He was beat. I mean, it was over with that uh, figure four leg lock on there. Buddy Landell had him, but then all of a sudden, Scott Bowden. Yeah, when the, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, and Scott Bowden gets going to get help to bring in eight or ten more people to help him out. Here yeah. comes Eddie Marlin out again, and he's telling Doug Gilbert and passing the word to Scott Bowden, you better get out of here or your license to wrestle is going to be yanked. And Eddie really laying the law down to Scott Bowden and Doug Gilbert. He said, after Bowden, what, he, go ahead, David. Scott is saying, oh, was that against the rules? I didn't know that was against the rules. Oh, yeah, look, he bent that pipe that he's got over Buddy Landell. You can see that the pipe is bent. And Eddie, 
Hey, you, you got it. You got it, baby. Hey, you are not leaving. You get those fat security guards out of here. You ain't going nowhere. I don't need no security guards. You get 10 seconds to get out of this studio, or I'll call the police department and personally put you all through you. Now get out of here. Nine. Hey, my daddy told me that when I'm a I got a right there. Leave Just go right ahead. Let her get out of here. Hey, 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 stay away from me. Got about five left, too. Well, Randy Hales, Eddie Marlin said, go call him. Get him out of here. It's going to be over. Gilbert, it's going to be over because they're going to be locked up. All right. Eddie Marlin getting rid of finally in there. Dave, let's take a break. Hey, left, yeah. Okay.